Hi, I'm Andy Glass of Glass Impressions. Today we're going to build this drill press table utilizing Rockler's brand new drill press vents, also featuring a turnstile insert plate. Stick around, hope you enjoy. I start by cutting two sections of 3 quarter inch MDF to width of the table saw. I raise the blade to accommodate two layers of 3 quarter inch MDF and cut one end square using my sliding cross cut accessory on my table saw. I then use the regular fence to cut the parts to length. Once they are cut to size, I use contact cement to glue them together. I use a low nap paint roller to apply the contact cement. Once the cement cures, I head back to the table saw to cut the panel to final size. I again apply contact cement to both the top of the panel and to the piece of laminate. I apply pressure with the J-roller to make sure they adhere properly. Once the contact cement cures, I head to the router table and install a flush trim bit to flush up the laminate. I use a 45 degree chamfer bit to apply a small break on the edges to prevent the laminate from chipping and ease the sharp edge. I place the table blank on my CNC Shark HD and use a half inch down spiral bit to clear out a six inch circle. I clamp down the table using step blocks to help with the extra high material. Once the X and Y axis are zeroed out, I can use a Z0 touch plate to zero out the Z axis. I know CNC's are not everyone's cup of tea, but they are so versatile in what they can offer to a small hobby shop to even a large production shop. Once the pocket is complete, I apply the same chamfer to the inside edges. I again use the CNC to cut a matching 6 inch circle. Here you can see how the circle can rotate inside the pocket. I use a half inch spiral bit in the router table to make the grooves and dados for the Rockler T-Track. I install Rockler's T-Track intersection kit where the grooves and dados meet. I use a self-centering drill bit to pre-drill and then drive a screw. On the last side you can see it overhangs the edge. You can use a typical carbide tooth saw to cut the aluminum. I place the table on the factory drill press table and use a pencil to mark the slots. I pull out my jig hardware kit and grab three threaded inserts and three knobs. Simply drill a pilot hole and then a neat trick is to use the threaded knob to help screw in the threaded insert. Replace the table, screw in the knobs to secure the table to the drill press. Now let's give it a try.
Now the concept behind the turnstile insert plate is it's off center and can be rotated for a fresh clean surface. For example, if you drill a hole here, you can turn it, drill another hole, turn it, drill another hole. There's always a fresh clean spot to prevent tear out. And when this top surface is done, simply take it out, flip it over, use this surface, and then make another one. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Please let me know in the comments what you think of the turnstile insert plate. If you like this video, please smash the like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd also like to invite you to like my Facebook page and join me on Instagram for mid-project pictures. Thanks for watching. See you next time.